DNA repair is one very important mechanism for cancer cells to survive when they are in an uh, aggressive environment like metastatic cancer cells. And uh, therefore, if we, uh, in addition, it's also a mechanism to resist to treatment. So if we are able to disable this activity in the tumoral cells, we will be able to restore sensitivity to the treatment and to have a more efficient uh, uh, treatments. So this is why we have developed inhibitors. And uh, we had to develop uh, very original inhibitors because the DNA repair is an uh, essential mechanism for living species. It's very robust, redundant, and very hard to, de to disable the cells. So we, we develop a, a an original method that inhibits the activity by using a lure. So it's a small molecule that just blinds the cells and prevents the cells to recognize that there are damage in the cells, and thereby they don't repair this damage. They keep dividing and uh, they, they die of losing their genetic content and uh, with broken chromosomes. This was a big issue, and in fact, the molecules are the specific targeting to tumor cells because they behave as nanoparticles that are used for imagery of uh, tumors. So they go specifically out of the vessel, blood vessels, in tumors. And in addition, they lay on the, um, the modification that occurs in tumoral cells during proliferation. So they have a very specific effect and we didn't observe any uh, toxicity in normal tissue. We have uh, no toxic dose, and in, uh, it doesn't sensitize to chemotherapy or radiotherapy healthy tissue. So it's a very safe so far, according to the result we have in the first trial and in animal studies. It's very heat, well tolerated and very safe. We choose a patient that had developed a local metastasis of melanoma. So these patients have, uh, have, been, uh, have received a surgery several times, but they have re they recurred at the same location, and the disease is spreading uh, in the area on the skin. At that level, it's very hard to to treat because uh, uh, chemotherapy is not effective and we use radiotherapy, but radiotherapy is not very effective and uh, also the effect doesn't last very long. So we were looking for a treatment that would be more efficient and will have a, a long standing effect. This is why we associate our molecule with radiotherapy, and that way we actually demonstrated that we, uh, we increase the efficacy from 9% with radiotherapy alone, same protocol, to 40% of cured, uh, well, uh, complete response in patients, and the, the, the response has, uh, is still standing, so it's a very stable response, and we have no recurrence of most of the patients. The patients, so they receive two weeks of radiotherapy every day, every open day, so 10 sessions of free grace. And uh, every two days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we inject the molecules. Uh, so we use a local injection for this demonstration to, be, to demonstrate that this is safe and well tolerated. So the skin was irradiated and received the drugs. And we didn't observe any enhancement of the radiosensitivity of the L skin, but we observe the regression and disappearance of the tumors. This was phase one, so the, f the, the first endpoint was to demonstrate the tolerance of the treatment. So the, the main result was the very good tolerance and the demonstration that we don't sensitize healthy tissue. The second endpoint was the efficacy, and the efficacy, so we demonstrate that we, we had 30% uh, of complete response and 39% of partial response. So this is, uh, this is a good objective. And 
in addition, well, we did only one session, one cycle of treatment, but we know that repeating the DTO1 treatment after a first boost of radiotherapy is very efficient. And in the next step, we should propose to uh, keep treating with uh, our molecules now that we know that they are safe. In the same time that the, uh, the uh, proposition for melanoma, we are moving to uh, general metastasis. So we plan to, to work on uh, uh, administrating the molecule systemically by intravenous, in addition, in combination with uh, platinum salts for very advanced stage uh, tumors. Uh, that resist uh, to several uh, treatment before. So this is the next step and uh, we hope to start within a year. Well, we lay on the deregulation of the tumors. So I'm sure it works very well with advanced disease. For early stage disease, I don't think it will work for all the tumor, the, the type of tumors. And we will have really to work on. And it's not an easy part because most of the model we have correspond to the advanced stage and not to early stage. But obviously this is something we will do because the other objective is to reduce the doses of radiotherapy or chemotherapy with the same efficacy and that will be very interesting in the first uh, line of treatment. Keep your imagination because we, we have designed a completely new, new way to inhibit uh, the activity that are essential for tumors and I think this is the field where people have to work. It just uh, uh, test and try new methods and uh, this will be only with this imagination and combination of different treatment that uh, we will transform uh, uh, the, deadly, the deadly uh, cancer in a chronic disease or even in something that we can cure.